Ready to roll when you are. The Padre doesn't seem too keen on the plan. You don't need to worry about him. I'd just hate to encounter any of that Catholic guilt I'm always hearing about. He knows everything. every low-life thing I've ever done and has never ratted me out. If I say we can trust him, we can trust him. Fair enough. So you mind telling me what we're really doing? I'm gonna kill Marcano and all the assholes who work for him. Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you'd grab an XM-21, smear on some face paint, and they'd all be dead before dinner. And you sure as hell wouldn't need a tack up and all the other shit you've asked me for. After I got back, Marcano offered me the holler. It was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? Just get otherwise. What do you think Sal was going to do? A little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm going to take over the city, district by district. Balcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up for something that strenuous. Why the fuck would not? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. Always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. One other thing. Probably not much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Assume that. Just be diligent. See you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you every time. <laughs> Fuck them, right? Sure you don't need a ride? Ah, oh, man, I'm good. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready.
idea. But the boy's dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea here. Yeah. the pocket of this old white man used to come around here raising him. Take this with you. There's always probably good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, Lincoln. No, but you're not. You never will be. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. Now, I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna wanna see.
plays every weekend at Big Mouth's. A mean motherfucking trouble. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. It still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man get in, Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle, and you sweat, and someone can take it all away just like that. Look at that chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste right now. Oh. <laughs> How'd it go out there? What was that? I'm talking right to now. The game's just that We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Thank you. 
catch up. Coming through. Uh. Udugaka. Huh? You want some weed? I can catch up. Boy, what are you doing? Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ted Mbaka was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't no reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in the holler deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the moon hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's, that's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One yeah, of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church.
let me see what you got. Jackie? What the hell? What? Why are you driving around in a truck? What happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. You want some weed? I can set you up. Lincoln, you was so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? I signed the phone to head. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Dennis. They always did right by me.
Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Most people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Pardon me. Dipshits! Apologize. Somewhere, I know it.
We have to go. We have to get out of here. Where the fuck did he go? We have to go. We have to get out of here. Get over in his blind spot! He's over here! Get him! Run that motherfucker out of here! I got something for his ass! boy in black leather carrying a rifle wherever he goes. Possibly. It's not like I don't want to get involved. I believe in the struggle. It's just... I just want to wear that ass like a hat, girl! This hide and seek shit. Is that you, asshole? What the fuck you doing, boy? Oh, you we will, boy. You ain't. No. Get down. Oh, boy. <laughs> Got this shit! 
There's our problem. We've been looking for you. <laughs> a new one. that motherfucker out of here. Mother have to get out of here. Uh. You scared of me? See if he's still over there. Gonna find you, boy. Maybe he's over here? Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. You killed him. You should kill all of them. Every. See Cassandra at the pierced heart. She'll help you. Oh, he's still here. <laughs> Gonna keep looking for you, boy. Can't hide from me, boy. He's over here. Get him.
Somebody's gonna shoot somebody. Y'all need to get down here right away. There's been a call about a hit and run in a hollow. If any of y'all got the patience for it, feel free to swing by. Out of the way. You need to watch where you're going. He's gonna shoot somebody. I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one.